Good morning to one and all. My name is Sadat Kukreja. Welcome to DME News. So today we have Mr. Uh, Alexander with us. So he is uh, currently heading this uh, exhibition uh, for which uh, company, sir? For DRM, Digital or, Radio. Montreal. Yeah, Digital Radio from Germany. So, sir, I would like to uh, ask a particular questions mm -hmm. for the upcoming technologies in the broadcasting and radio services. Mm -hmm. So, I am having a, a device in my hand. Sir, could you tell me about this device? Sure. Yeah. Before we do that, maybe a word on DRM, Digital yeah, Radio. Sure. Digital Radio. Digital Radio Mondial is the open standard following AM and FM analog radio services. So the new version is DRM for all these bands, and that gives you more services on a single transmission, uh, better audio quality, and advanced features such as text information, text news, with a push of a fingertip at your radio, and emergency warning functionality, which means that if there is an emergency, like a pending tsunami coming in, you can interrupt the transmissions, tell the radio sets to switch over to the emergency program of All India Radio or the local authority, yeah. uh, present the audio, which will be in the local language, but on the screen you have the same information in multiple languages. So even while you're traveling, you can find out what's going on. The car radio flashes, the desktop radio flashes, it can even switch on automatically. All these are benefits of digital radio. For the broadcaster and the society, there's more in terms of power saving. There's a lot of power saving possible. We need, uh, or we can save about 90% of the transmission power in FM to get a similar coverage. That is huge. If you look at the whole network, all these hundreds of transmitters in India, that's multiple power plants you can save just from these transmissions. Good, so this is digital radio in a nutshell. DRM is an open standard. It's a whole DRM consortium with so many members from India and from all over the world. Uh, it's a not-for-profit. My own company is called Fraunhofer. It's again a not-for-profit research organization. We are members of the DRM consortium along with many of the Indian colleagues. Because DRM is for international services. It's for everybody in the world. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Let's have a look at yeah. the devices yeah, and sure. the demos. So how do we uh, use this uh, device? Yeah. Like this is an uh, antenna. Yes. So we open the antenna according to the reach. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. So this is scanning <laughs> for services right now. Mm -hmm. So could you please give a tutorial ah, to us? Sure. Yeah. Maybe before we look at the receiver side, we should have a look at the full transmission chain. Because at this booth, we have a full live DRM FM band transmission available. Let's have a look here. What we see here is the studio equipment. This is the DRM content server. That's the encoder that is located in the studio. It provides for the different services. It has the various audio inputs, data inputs, and the configuration on air. Don't worry about the technical details. This will be operated by the broadcaster. So this signal then from the studio is sent to the transmitter. We have our own little transmitter here. That's a little amplifier and a DRM modulator. These two boxes from RF Mondial. And our output signal is then broadcast through these two antennas. It's a tiny microwatt signal just for the booth coverage. So, with this transmission equipment, we have a full DRM transmitter working in the FM band. And then we can receive it on public signage services, on plenty of receivers that you can see around the booth and the neighboring booth, and even on mobile devices like this standard Android phone. What we do with the Android phone is, with a simple small add-on of a, a USB dongle, we can receive the DRM signal, and the actual DRM decoding is all done in software. That Android app exists. You can even download Android app from the App Store today. Once we, the manufacturers are on board, uh, once the DRM for FM band will be rolled out in India, the smartphone manufacturers have already confirmed that they are uh, participating in the rollout, and then we don't need this external FM front end anymore. It can be included in it, we use the built-in one that is already there. Yeah. That's a huge advantage of DRM, Digital Radio Mondial standard in the FM band. Yeah. It can work with any mobile phone today that already has FM reception built in. It doesn't need extra hardware. You just need the software and the API access by the manufacturer. That's it. And then we have DRM reception, as you can see here. You have multiple services on air. This is a single transmission. Uh, this is Rainbow, for example. You can watch the added value services, the text. 
So all these news items are currently provided by all in the radio on air. And even if you don't have internet access, all in the radio can be received with all these added value services without any need for internet, for payment, for data. So effectively, there is no gatekeeper for the radio services digital, as it was the case in analog. All in the radio and the broadcasters can talk to the people directly. Nobody needs to buy an internet package or needs to buy an expensive phone because there's also cheap receivers available. So this is one example of a receiver. What happened right now is our transmission was interrupted, as you can see, and we now have an emergency going on. So the receiver was switched over to the emergency program and on the screen we see the emergency information. If you want to look up the information, it's all provided here and you can find out what's going on. And all that happened automatically. Now, in analog radio, we had to interrupt the program, replace the program. That's not the case here. If I find out that I'm actually in another area, I can just switch back to my previous program because it is still on air. Good. So this is one receiver type um, with the uh, with this uh, receiver or transmission chain. We are feeding all the receivers that are over there. If you want to have a look, these are a few models, uh, typical models that have been introduced at this BES. They are brand new, most of them, um, from various companies. And then we have to look at the next booth where even more companies are showing up. There's examples: car radios. Uh, from um, NXP, yeah. there's car radios from Intot prototypes and consumer radios, there is uh, Dolby um, presence there and several other manufacturers, Gospel from China. Gospel has just launched a whole new lineup of receivers as has Starwaves and rf 2 Digital, those two other companies. So you can see a whole lineup of new receivers. I encourage you to have a look at those receivers afterwards. Thank you so much. Sir. Wait a second. Yeah, sure. Let's have a look at the public signage. Yeah. <laughs> so this here is a scene uh, with a central marketplace where on a, on a uh, poll we have the, the current news going. We have information about the stock prices, onion prices, things like that, which we learned from All India Radio in Bangalore is crucial to give this information publicly in the rural areas to people who don't have easy internet access. They need to know this information. That's an example of a scorecard for the uh, for some cricket information. Oh, sorry, the points table. The scorecard we also have um, shown here for some cricket match. So this is an example of elements of information that can be made available publicly as a public signage service. If you want to have a look at the top also. So what happens is, what happens is if the broadcaster and the authorities identify that at this moment an emergency is going on, not only your radio receivers will switch over, but also the public signs. Let me let me trigger the broadcast. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So you can see, automatically the public signage service has switched over and it activates the audio output. So the public sign gives you the audio output also. Uh, thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure. For giving us your time and Thanks, uh, explaining about the upcoming technology. Yes. So this is Siddharth Kupreja with cameraman Shubham Mandal, DME TV.